Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, today we'll be learning how to do that mixtape style CC in CapCut. So without wasting any time, let's begin. So guys, first of all, what you need to do is add your clip in your timeline and now make sure that you have added most of the effects and motion blur, shake, etc, whatever you have done, your edit should be ready. Now move on to the CC. The very first thing we have to add here is a filter called metal. So search that up in filters and add it above here. Now what this does is that it lessens the saturation and gives kind of old type of vibe. So I add this one. Then for the effects, just go to effects and search an effect called glow three. Add it below this filter. And now as you can see, it kind of adds glow and a different type of CC to the whole thing. Now the settings that you are going to keep here is that filters should be 100 and then for glow, you can keep it at 40 and size should be 60 or something that should work. If you want more glow, you can enhance it according to your need and keep the range around 40 that will work. Now we're going to add another effect here, which will be for the haze. If you guys want that, you can add that too. For that, you have to search an effect called light stretch, this one, and add it below all of these effects, just like this. Now, as you can see, it adds that haze type of thing. So it depends upon you how much glow you want. You can keep the glow around 70 or 80. That works with most of the clips because we don't want them to glow too much. And for the speed, that's just some flicker it adds. You can keep it at 30 or 20. That will work. And now we have to add that glitch or that distortion type of thing. So for that, there is another effect in CapCut called shaky glitch. So search that up, shaky glitch and add it below all of these effects. Now, all you have to do is just keep its strength zero. And for its speed, you can keep it at 100. It will be too fast. Or if you want it to be normal, like in my edits, you can keep it at 60 and that works. Now, if you want to further enhance it, you can add an adjustment layer and just do some settings from the contrast or exposure. I keep the contrast at seven. I don't really change anything else. And there is one more thing called dehaze. You can try this out if you want to lessen the glow. You can do some adjustment from here, but I just keep it at zero. And then you have to go down a bit and change the clarity to 20. Now your CC is done, you can just simply export it, but I'll give you a simple trick here to improve your quality. What you guys can do is either just simply compound clip all of this and then go to adjustment. Now, if you scroll down, you can simply change the soften to 100. And what this does is that it kind of gives a little bit blur. And then if you export it in 1080p, then import it back in your timeline and give it some AI enhancement, it will improve the quality a lot. So I'm just gonna simply export it first and then import it back in my timeline. And I'll show you guys how it's done. So guys, I exported the clip in 1080p and now if I import it back in my timeline, next what I have to do is that simply add an adjustment layer above it. Now, if I scroll down here from the soften, I just make it 100. It adds some sort of blur type of thing, but it makes the quality better afterwards. Now, the next thing is that just click on the clip and apply this AI enhancement tool right here and click on Ultra HD and wait for it to be applied. And then you will see a difference in quality. It is already good, but you know, we can improve it more. So I apply this method to make it better. And now as you can see that it's applied, it does increase the quality a bit more. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys understood this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. See you guys in another video. Till then, bye-bye.